Yeah, I'm gonna make uh, another video. Uh, so this is my third video, and uh, what I'm gonna do this time is uh, try it on my road bike. So uh, the only thing is a bit misty out here this morning. But I think, well, I'm hoping. Well, let me. My intention, get it right, is to uh, go up, do a loop round, and go up to uh, Lord Stones, which is on the top of Carlton Bank. And I'm hoping that uh, by that time, when I'm up there, the uh, I'll be above all this shit and misty stuff. So uh, that's my idea, and uh, we'll take it from. He's back. We'll take it from there, and. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes anyway, but uh, so uh, getting a bit busy here now. Morning, uh, back out to try uh, another one of these videos. This will be my uh, third one. I'm on the road bike this morning, uh, just headed off about 15 minutes ago, so I'm gone through Seymour. And I'm on the way to the back road to uh, Hutton Rugby. Uh, yeah, it's uh, a bit misty this morning. Uh, oh, there's a car going by, so we'll wait till this goes by. <coughs> yeah, it's misty this morning, but it's starting to lift. And uh, my intention is to head round by uh, do a circle and up into Carlton. And then up towards Lord Stones, and I'm hoping that when I get up to Lord Stones, up that climb, it'll uh, be uh, clear up there. I'll be over it. So uh, let's see, hey. Uh, we'll talk to you later. I to think of this setup. A bit unsteady. You're a bit wobbly. Hold on there. I'm trying to straighten that. Hi. Uh, still a bit misty, but uh, it's nice. Yeah, we'll just carry on anyway, see where it takes us. Gone through uh, Hutton Rugby. Uh, I'm dropping down, just coming that way, and I'm going that way on towards Carton. I just stopped at this bridge uh, just to show you a bit of a waterfall here after all the rain we had. Uh, the roads are a bit, the roads are a bit mucky, as you can see in places, and uh, but now it's fine. So uh, yeah, we'll keep going. Catch you later. As you can see from that, uh, 
I'm in Carlton now and heading up that road now that's where the climb starts kind of well it actually starts about half a mile up that road at the cattle grid uh, but Lord Stones will be at the top of it one and a quarter miles from this junction in Carlton and uh, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> getting a bit anxious already <coughs> I'm already sweating uh, so uh, we'll head on and see how it goes okay I'll catch you later At the top of Lord Stones now, after doing that climb, uh, which really the climb was about one kilometer. Anyway, I'll tell you later on. I'll check it out. But anyway, but I'm at the top of Lord Stones and I'm above the above the mist now, which is it's lovely. I'm at the five standing stones, which you can just see behind me. Uh, at Lord Stones, I don't know the history of them, but I might try and find out. Put a little uh, message at the bottom just in case you're interested and uh, I'll take a walk over here to the edge now and uh, see what it's like all right I'll catch you in a minute yeah this is it uh, looking up there and actually in front of me if I'll show you when I swing round uh, you can see it there there's me waving it's what they call a broken spectra I think it's where the, if the sun is behind you shining down onto the mist it gives you an image of yourself and there should be a rainbow around it but it's not it's not that well defined but uh, yeah it's nice and around here to show you the scenery you can see I'm just about above the mist walk down a couple of yards and I'm back in it so uh, yeah we're above the clouds <laughs> nice so yeah there's me uh, rock and spectra. There you go. Hello. Beautiful day up here. I'm heading over that way around the back of uh, that lump in front of you. Can't remember what it's called, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> my memory is definitely going uh, so yeah it's nice hello I'm having a rest for a minute it was a bit chilly earlier on and uh, then I just noticed that I grab a pair of shoes my gloves coming out quickly and then me uh, what you call you know how I am with uh, ventilation ones but you can see I've my gloves well ventilated there, some there, some, but yeah, the well ventilated gloves. So, uh, I wonder why my fingers were feeling a bit cool. You're gonna fall, are you? There you go. Anyway, I'm gonna have a snack. Oh, oh Jesus, oh, this is have to do something better than this yoke. It's not that windy up here, for God's sake. Anyway, punch grandkids again. Can't beat them. The great grandkids. They always have sweets around the place. And I'm sure they don't mind sharing. Cheers. Yeah. It's a beautiful day now. So I shouldn't be eating it mouthful but yeah it's a lovely day up here. How do you both all that shake down there? Anyway, I'm gonna have a bit of refreshment, sorry, refreshment fudge before carrying on. So I'm gonna switch this thing up, alright, I'll catch you, catch you later before you fall. Off. 
rough again. Beautiful this side, up in the moors. Yeah, so uh, let's just uh, enjoy. Hi, I'm in uh, Chopgate now and uh, just come down from that road across from me over, over there from Lord Stones. You can see the sign, because, although it's backwards, it's saying it's up there, but that's where I came from. And uh, I'm going from Chopgate. Uh, wait for those to go by. From Chopgate then. I'm going up that way, up towards the uh, Saybank uh, car park, and then I drop down towards the greenhouse. Uh, it's beautiful up here, but I expect when I drop down again, I'll be back in the uh, misty cloud. And uh, by the way, a few of you who watched my running video last might be saying to yourselves, hold on a minute. That jacket is the same jacket you've had running. This one. Well, let me tell you, it uh, it is. This is a multi multi use multi sport jacket. So, although it's good for running, it's also good for cycling. Still, still not waterproof. Still very uh, very holy, as everything is belong to me. But anyway, it's lovely here, so I'm, uh, I'm just going to crack on, alright? I'll get a drink and uh, I'll leave you with it. See you later. The colours up here today are uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, really nice. Yeah, nice time of the year. at Claybank car park now uh, and uh, as you can see the mist behind me uh, I'm going to be dropping down yeah down there into that and eventually heading over there somewhere in the Stokesley by Ingleby Greenhouse but it's, it's beautiful up here above it but it's going to be pretty shit down there isn't it <laughs> uh, 
uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. Uh, yeah, there you go. So, um, yeah, we'll head down. Catch you later. Fun and games. Uh, yeah, you can see I've uh, dropped down now nearly at Ingleby Green Hill and I'm in this shite again, as you can see. It's just misty all over. But, uh, it's been a nice cycle anyway. And uh, I'm just going to switch this thing off now. I'm heading that way, by the way. Switch this thing off. And uh, anyway, you'll see it on the video, okay? So, uh, we'll catch you later on. Hope you enjoy it. And see how it works out. Bye. I'm home. Uh, so I did about... Let me think. Oh, let me look, shall I say. Uh, about 43 kilometers. And, uh, oh dear. No, wait. Yeah. About 365 meters of climb. And I think and the climb up to Clay Bank was about 150 meters of that. But I'll double check that later on. Uh, but it's been good. Uh, I'll do this video for you, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, but yeah, I'm sweating now, uh, yeah, it's a bit misty here, so I pushed it to keep warm, and I am warm, <laughs> all the best.